Hi, this is John from SysEngQuick, and today I'm going to show you how to set up Gentoo Linux. Gentoo Linux is a bit different from other distributions. There's no installer and no real official install media. They do have a minimal install CD, and you can use that, though I prefer the System Rescue CD. It's more useful in more situations, so I just go ahead and download that. You can get it at system-rescue-cd.org, click on the download link under the sitemap, and then click the download link under the stable version. I've already got it, so let's go ahead and boot that up. I'm going to be using VirtualBox for this demonstration. When it first boots, there are several options in here. I'm going to choose the default boot options. In a moment, it's going to give me a chance to change my keyboard layout. If I do nothing for about 40 seconds, it will go ahead and choose US, but I'll just go ahead and hit enter. But if you want to change that, you can do that here. Now that it's booted up, we need to make sure we have network connectivity. So I'll run IPA and I'll see that yes, I do have an IP address. If you have DHCP available on your network, your network should be configured automatically. But if you want to configure it statically, you can do that too. I'm going to go ahead and try that out. So let's go ahead and disable Network Manager. Now we can go ahead and reconfigure ENP0S3. So I'm going to say IP Adder delete 192.168.5.186 dev ENP 0 S3. All right, so now I want to add an address 192.168.5.0235 should be fine dev ENP 0 S3. All right. So now I do have that IP address. I just need to set up a default route. So IP route add default via 192.168.5.1 dev ENP 0 S3. All right, I should be able to reach the internet now. Let's make sure I have DNS and it's using 192.168.5.1 for my DNS. Let's see if that works. I can ping Google. Can I ping it by name? Yes, I can. So, okay, we have internet connectivity. So, I don't want to use this tiny window where I can't copy and paste things into it. So, there are a couple of options. You can either run Stardex and get a graphical installation, or we can use the SSH server and use PuTTY, which is what I'm going to do. So, let's change the root password to something that I can know, and then we'll go ahead and remote into this with PuTTY. 192.168.5.235 root user all right there we go and now I'll be able to use this session in order to continue with the installation of Gentoo which we'll get to in the next video